Burr. Why is it so cold? <laughs> hey guys, so I haven't really made a video in a long time. Sorry about that. It's kind of been... Uh, it's been interesting. It, it's been interesting. I got sick with, uh, well, according to, you know, the test, the, you know, the C word. Um, I don't know if it was or not, but that's what they said it was. So I've been out for a while sick and uh, found a new car. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. It was a, it was a 92, it's 30 years old. It's a 92 uh, Mitsubishi Diamante LS. It was super clean, super good condition. And uh, <laughs> I, I mean, 1500 bucks is super cheap, but I mean, I think the people who sold it knew. They just lied about it. You know, they, they were claiming, yeah, everything works fine. Everything's great. You know, and, and it did. When I test drove it, everything sounded great. No weird noises, no leaks, no nothing. Hits all the gears just fine. The transmission's fine. 70, 71,000 miles on a 30-year-old car. And I took it home. It was great. Had a lot of fun driving it home. And got some cleaning supplies. Cleaned it out really good thing looks brand new it's beautiful and then i'm like you know i'm gonna go take it down to the shop and have them inspect it and stuff just to make sure everything's you know it's not gonna blow up on me drive it down there they check all the fluids you know and the engine oil is fine you know coolant's fine you know everything looks great there's no ticking it purrs like a kitten it's just great and then they and then they take a look at the transmission fluid and it is burnt burnt black burnt and there was shavings metal shavings in there something in the transmission was falling apart and it and it was uh, and uh on the way home from the so i had to figure out what i wanted to do and on the way home from taking it there it started to whine when i go into drive it said whines and drive or reverse and i was just thinking okay well you know uh, maybe it's just not getting the fluids or something so it could be a pump filter or whatever but I still took it down to a transmission shop to have them take a look at and sure enough the thing needs to be rebuilt and rebuilding this darn transmission is like you know I mean it's an old Mitsubishi they don't they, they just, they're not made anymore you know parts aren't made for it anymore they're looking at like you know forty five hundred fifty five hundred dollars to have it rebuilt and so Ah, uh, darn it. <laughs> so, mechanic special. <laughs> uh, gonna post it up for sale. Uh, hopefully someone will take it. Uh, I, I got, I talked the price down really well when I bought it. Um, and I have done some work on it since I got it. And literally the transmission is all it needs. And for somebody who has the, the ability to do it themselves, they can honestly pull a pretty penny off of it. So I posted it for sale hopefully I can actually come out maybe 500 bucks on top yeah, but it gives me a little bit of a, a buffer um, I would be happy to break even as if it just never happened but yeah that was kind of a disappointment because you know I've been it's getting cold um, it's cold there's snow on the mountains um, over that way when I get parked at the gym you guys will be able to see it um, but yeah, so that that's been has been a journey. So I that getting sick, trying to get over, uh, you know, the the whole breakup with my ex fiance and stuff like that. It's it's just been kind of a eh, been how it it's it's been all right. But you know, the one thing I, what I want to talk about today is is just consistency. Like if you have something you're working on or a goal you're trying to get being consistent you know life is going to happen and it's going to swing punches at you and most of the time they're going to hit it's going to make it's going to connect with your face you know the life is going to give you a good old sucker punch to the family jewels if you know what i mean and and if you're trying to work on something or build your life or do whatever uh these swings these punches that life will throw at you sometimes are so overwhelming that it kind of like causes you to just stop or forget what you're working on 
um, but you know that's one thing like I don't want to toot my own horn or anything but through all of through these last few months uh, the second half of this year um, I have stayed consistent with my with my gym stuff and I will try uh, to overlay some of the progress I've been making now I don't want to be vain or look like you know like trying to draw attention for that but I just want to say that while the times have been the toughest my consistency with it has shown the most results and so that's kind of like the you know I always try to have like some piece of advice or some lesson to to share when I make these videos because I don't want to just be you know just driving around and not really like being I, I want it to be valuable if you know what I mean I want you guys to learn something from it to have a reason to watch or whatever but when life is throwing punches or when times are tough things are difficult um, usually the consistency in those moments are the most fruitful and that is I think the secret of like actually really honestly getting ahead sometimes it won't feel like it sometimes it'll feel like you're running backwards you know what I mean but like just the progress with my fitness that I've made in in the second half of this year um, because well honestly I'm not gonna lie I kind of use the gym as a way to to vent vent you know to get over some crap in the past and uh, yeah but just <sighs> consistency guys you know uh, I know it's not really like the most in-depth or most uh, I don't know woke topic I don't know what you want to call it it's just um, but I did want to share that with you guys sorry for being gone for a long time I mean like I'm sorry but I'm also not sorry because it has been necessary I definitely needed it um, I guess I'm back on the market for trying to find a vehicle again. I thought I had one that I that I was going to be good with. I was hoping, you know, it's going to be cheap. It's old, but it'll get me to work and everything. But I don't know what it is with my luck with vehicles. So I'm either just going to be financially stupid and trade it in for something new. Or, um, or somebody will buy it. And I will just be patient and keep waiting. But, um, yeah, so, I hope you, I hope this little brief video has been a little bit useful. If, if anything is happening, uh, in your life, if you're trying to work on something and it starts getting tough, I just want you guys to know that, uh, those moments, the consistency in those moments specifically will reap the most rewards. If you can push through the shit and keep going and don't break... Uh, you will be rewarded the most. You will see the most progress, the most results in those times. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I'm almost at 500 uh, subscribers. Super happy for that. Wow, I'm trying to open this. There we go. Yeah, almost at 500 subscribers. And uh, super grateful for that. And... Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Well, hey, um, I would expect soon I'm going to be doing an oil change on this. Um, I might... Let's take one last look at this bike here. Because after I do the oil change, I have clear premium in it right now. It's pretty much ready to be parked for the winter. But I may uh, sell it. But if I sell the motorcycle, I'm replacing it with a better motorcycle. I was thinking like an R1M or something like that. Something nice. Uh, so, hey, something to look forward to. I know for sure I will be doing the oil change on it soon. TM. And, uh, yeah, and I'll make sure to make a video on that. So, thanks for stopping by, you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Sorry for being gone for a while. This poor thing needs a wash. Alright, peace.